No one wants to live next to the stench of a landfill waste site, but some have no choice. Hundreds of Palestinian Bedouins in a village on Israeli-occupied land say their rights are literally being trashed by the Jewish authorities. Paula Slea has the story. From this to this. The remote hills of the West Bank are fast becoming an eyesore. By the hour, noisy garbage trucks dump waste from Jerusalem and its surrounding areas here. Far enough to keep the stench of garbage away from city dwellers, but close enough for some to conclude it's making the Bedouin tribes who inhabit these hills sick. Ahmed Hussein is recovering from cancer. He says he can't prove the dump caused it, but suspects it did. Our children play next to the dump. Our animals eat the nails in the garbage and later die. We always smell garbage. Day by day, the dump is getting closer to Ahmed and his family because the Israeli authorities don't want it spreading to the expanding settlements on the other side. Israeli law says a landfill should be two kilometers from where people live. This one's a stone's throw away. There are a lot of people suffering from a lot of illnesses that we've never seen before. Some of them are skin illnesses. There have been cases of cancer and people have died. Some of the garbage being dumped here has chemicals and gases. And for as long as these hills fall under Palestinian territory, they'll continue to fill up with Israeli waste. These Bedouin tribes were forcibly moved here a decade ago. The once semi-nomadic herders were compensated with cash, electricity and water supplies. This is a mountain of waste that's been building for 17 years. It's convenient for the Israelis to dump their garbage here because it's not too far from Jerusalem. And this is, after all, contested occupied land. The Israeli health ministry has found that the dump is producing methane gas, amongst others, with long-term health risks. For the last few years, Dr. Hassan has been researching the health effects on Bedouins living near the rotting waste. Water getting out of as an extract of uh, these dumping sites, these waters just goes into the ground, reaching the aquifers where we have the water, drinking water. We have a well where the people are drinking water from these wells. And we found during our research that there's some heavy metals inside these uh, wells. But land here is expensive, and building a new waste site would cost money. It's also not clear where these Bedouin communities could move to. The lack of building space means they're forced to put up tents closer to the landfill site. It is not normal that we live in a dump. It's supposed to be far away from people, but all the time it's getting closer. It's very hard to live here. The only solution is to move this dump away from here. In its defence, the Jerusalem municipality says the site is legal. But it has until the end of this month to respond to a court order to stop dumping here. Each day, more than a thousand tonnes of garbage is deposited on Ahmed's doorstep. Potentially a ticking bomb for people who live on the fringes of society. Paulus Lea RT, Al Jabal village in the West Bank.